Yo, what's going on, y'all? We back with another week of predictions. Starting it off today, we're going to do a week 11 recap and then head into week 12 predictions. The games are going on right now. At least one game has started. I think I think it's the Lions game. I'm not a thousand percent sure, but y'all let me know. Uh, not paying attention to anything else. So, yeah, no spoilers. Uh, we'll be going live on Twitch today. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Uh, we'll be going live on Twitch tonight. So, y'all stay tuned. Um, at least that's the plan for right now. So, y'all stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna start off with the Patriots versus Falcons. Pats destroyed the Falcons, man. That's what it was. It is what it is. Was what it was. Um, I got too much to say. Patriots looking like a, a well oiled machine, looking ready for the playoffs, looking like they could easily steal that division. If I'm being honest, they they look like the best team in the division, one of the best in the AFC right now, just well rounded. Um, they look like the team that I expected them to be at the beginning of the season, but obviously with Mac Jones, you know, you got a rookie quarterback, just let go Cam Newton. Um, Everything gonna be everything is not gonna be completely in order, so that's what it is. Uh, but they figuring it out. Uh, Falcons, on the other hand, are looking towards the off season as of right now. So, is what it is. Uh, two teams just on the opposite sides of the spectrum. Ravens versus Bears. Uh, Justin Fields out for the season, I think, with broken ribs. Y'all let me know if that's accurate. I'm not sure. Um, Andy Dalton started, did pretty good. I just started. Uh, Andy Dalton came in the game, did pretty good, but just wasn't enough. Tyler Huntley played pretty good for the Ravens. Uh, besides get, getting sacked six times, which is, you know, on the O-line uh, for the most part. But uh, he, he did pretty good. Uh, I, I, I could see Tyler definitely, after the season, uh, getting a contract from somebody else, whether that be in a starting role, competing for a starting role, or a Taysom Hill type role. So we'll see how that goes or how that turns out. Got the Packers versus the Vikings. Uh, divisional matchup, good game, good game. Um, Vikings got them a dub over the Packers. Interesting, but, uh, you know, got them one. Uh, another game that they came within seven points. They it, they need a win. I think that's at least two by two touchdowns, I feel like, to be a statement for them to really uh, do something. You know, to, to feel like it's, they got something going, like some real momentum. But uh, that, that was a very important win for them. Uh, could possibly make the playoffs. Packers, uh, we'll see. I mean, what am I saying? Packers definitely making the playoffs. Uh, they'll bounce back. They'll be fine. They'll be all right. Colts versus Bills. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to run through this. Colts versus Bills. I say uh, Jonathan Taylor looking like one of the best running backs in the league right now. I, I, like I said, I, I, I put Chubb ahead of him, and then I put him at number two. But, I mean, uh, it's like 1A, 1B right now. I put Chubb 1A. He, he's 1B. They're not too far off at this moment. But, um I ain't a lot of Chubb, just amazing, man. But Jonathan is looking lights out. Uh, Bills looking like an average team, bro. Like at times they look like the best team. At times they look like the, one of the best teams in the AFC, and at times they just look like your average team. So they need some consistency, and this is gonna. I don't know, man. We'll see if the Colts creep, creep into the playoffs, especially if they get that matchup with the Bills again. That'll be interesting. But uh, they can, they can creep in there. Uh, Bills, they just gotta figure. They gotta fix this, man. Whatever, whatever it is, they need to fix. They gotta fix it. Lions versus Browns. Um, it was a boring game, but it was a good game. It was a good game because of the run game. Chubb and DeAndre Swift both had 130 rushing yards, so I was really, really, uh, really like it was really cool to see like uh, like that. It was a nice back and forth, really nice back and forth, and uh, just amazing game. DeAndre Swift looked like he was going to be the running back of the future, if I'm being honest. And uh, I, I feel like it was a, uh, not a statement, but I feel like it was him solidifying himself in that role and, you know, being the future back for the Lions, at least for right now. Um, we got Washington versus the Panthers. Uh, Panthers blew it. It was a good game, though. Very good game. I, I, I think Cam is not completely acclimated. You know, he's not – he doesn't know the full playbook yet. I think maybe if they would have started P.J. Just did how, how, how they did last week. If they would have started P.J. and um, just, just played it like that and put Cam in here and there, just like how they did, I think they probably would have been better off because P.J. knows the playbook. Um, but still they, they didn't, it wasn't, they didn't play terrible. Uh, Washington, they, they did the thing they did. They're supposed to do, I suppose. Um, Taylor Heineke has not thrown the interception in both of the wins that they've had. They got back to back wins right now. He hasn't thrown the interception yet. So that's a, uh, that's pretty big. Uh, hopefully he continues that. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't see them. Like, they're not in playoff contention or anything. At least I don't think so. Uh, but, uh, a uh, good win for them, and uh, they they doing some things, man. They're making some noise right now. Uh, Texans upset the Titans. There was a lot of upsets this week. A lot of upsets. Texans upset the Titans. 
that was interesting. Um, I can put too much on it because it was a divisional game, but at the same time, Titans gonna have to figure something out. They got to tighten up, man. Because to the Texans, like Texans, uh, they've been on terrible this year, and just. Mm-mm. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. And I think Titans what they just won like six in a row or something like that. That's what I read somewhere. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I ain't, I ain't really got too much to say. Both of these teams going in totally different directions anyway. So we'll just have to see how the season plays out. Um, Jags and 49ers. I gotta say, uh, 49ers just look like they're just better than the Jags. Like they look like a, they're playing in two different leagues right now. Um, 49ers just looked a lot better. That's just what it is. They two different. One team, obviously, two different directions, but like it just looked like a whole tier or two tiers above the Jags. That's just what it is, anyways. Um, Jets and Dolphins. I gotta say, the Dolphins. How do I remember this game? Honestly, I barely remember this one uh, in my head right now. I, I remember this not being. It wasn't too exciting, in my opinion. I just don't remember. I think Flacco started. Uh, yeah, I apologize, y'all. I don't have too much to say about that one. I let it rock. Um, got the Saints versus Eagles. Jalen Hurts has been looking nice, bro. Like, if I'm being honest, like this this year, uh, it's been games where you know he looked a little shaky, but overall, he looks like a good quarterback. I'm not gonna say great. I'm not gonna say elite, but he looks like a good quarterback. And I I don't really have too much to complain about him. His decision making, it's not really too much to complain about. If they can solidify uh. Uh, the O line, maybe get the running game consistent, consistent. Uh, maybe get a few possession catch wide receivers in there, uh, and then just fill up some holes in defensively. Like, we'll just upgrade the defense. You know, this could be a dangerous team, in my opinion. They got a lot of weapons offensively. Uh, pretty versatile, in my opinion, and uh, I think they got a bright future if everything pans out. Uh, Saints, they got to figure out the quarterback situation, and then just find consistency. Man, they they're not there yet. They're not there. Uh, like started out five and two, and it was looking good. I thought. Simeon was going to be it. Uh, it's just it's, it's hard to tell. We just gonna, we have to see as the season continues to play out. Uh, we got the Bengals versus the Raiders. Um, honestly, man, it looked like the Raiders missing Henry Ruggs. Just my opinion. Uh, and you know, it's just like they they haven't. I don't think they've won a game since he's been since he's been gone. You know, so uh, like that deep threat. And and it's not only that he was a deep threat; it's that he was reliable. He was he. He was coming up as one of them better uh, uh, speed receiving, like speed, like better speedy receivers. I don't know, like like his catching the ball, like his ability to catch the ball, like his I'm trying to think how to word it, man. His potential as a receiver was, is up there. Nah, how would I say that? He was he was getting better. He was getting better. He's already fast. He can run a four two. He was getting better as a receiver. I, I like I saw it, so. From last year to this year, it's not, it was a nice jump. He was just getting better overall as a receiver, despite his speed. Um, Bengals looking towards playoffs very likely. Uh, they just need some consistency. It'll be interesting to see what they do when the postseason comes. Chiefs and Cowboys, uh, solid game, honestly, solid game. But uh, Chiefs looking like the Chiefs again, you know, they're looking like the team that they should have been at the beginning of the year. They kind of like the Patriots. That like it was a high expectation for them, at least with the Patriots. I had high expectations for them, but they're looking like that team that they should have been, you know, with uh, all these players, you know, um, that were signed to long term contracts and all that, you know, like you would expect them to come out and just run it back immediately. But I think it's a lot of stuff they had to figure out, had to get together. Uh, Clyde Aris Hilaire came back, uh, they've been clicking, man, they're doing a lot better. But the biggest thing is them doing better defensively because offensively, you got Pat Mahomes and company, you know, all these weapons, uh, you know, Tariq Hill, you know, all that Kelsey. Excuse me. Not much to worry about, man. You know, offensively, never much to worry about. Even when Pat doesn't play, like, they still they still flow pretty well. But defensively, you know, to see them uh, perform the way they did, it's pretty big. Uh, and then Cowboys, I, I think they'll be fine. Uh, when the playoffs come, I, I still see them as a dangerous team, bro. I really do. But uh, you know, like they didn't, they didn't just get whooped. It was ten points. They held the Chiefs to under twenty. It, it, it was, it was a good game. Seahawks versus uh Cardinals. Cardinals felt in control of this game for the most part. Seahawks didn't really, they didn't really show much at all in my opinion. Like they were decent. Um, but they, I mean, 
I, I think this would be the first year in a while that the uh, Seahawks missed the playoffs. And uh, it'd be odd to see, but hey, that's a tough division. So somebody had to, somebody had to miss it. I think I predicted that before the season started that it would it would be the Seahawks. Uh, did I? I couldn't be wrong. I put the Rams up there. I put the Cardinals up there, and I said it'd be either 49ers or Seahawks, probably. No, I think I said Seahawks. I could be wrong, man. Somebody, y'all don't quote me on that. I'm sure it's in a video or something further back. Um, we got the Steelers versus Chargers. Uh, that was a pretty good game, but it didn't. You know, for people to call it the game of the year, it didn't really feel like the Steelers were going to win that game. You know, it's a game of the year game type type games are like really back and forth. To me, it didn't feel like the Steelers were going to win that game for sure. Um, so I don't know, man. Uh, Chargers did their thing. They're looking good. Uh, Steelers don't look bad either, but they, I, you know, I don't know. I just don't feel like they're there. You know, like they got they still got a lot of work to do. Offensive play calling. Uh, defensive play calling at times uh even though the Chargers have a lot of weapons offensively that's like one of one of, one of the best like i can say best but one of the most talented offenses in the league right now so mm -hmm. we got the giants versus the buccaneers uh buccaneers did what they were supposed to do um uh, giants lot very talented team but it's not all mixing together so uh we just have to see how that plays out in the future um new head coach on the way you know new head coach on the way we'll see how everything plays out all right we're gonna check out some of the offensive stat leaders now so we're gonna start with the quarterbacks um shout out to the zone man for these graphics too uh i like them a lot they're pretty clean uh like their post but um pat mahomes number one brady two car Matt Stafford, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Kirk Cousins, Ryan Tannehill, Joe Burrow, and Aaron Rodgers for the top 10. And Pat Mahomes just went up. Okay, Matt Stafford went down. Leading in touchdowns, we got Tom Brady with 29. That's interesting. Okay. For the rushing leaders, we got Jonathan Taylor with 1,100 yards. Just imagine if Derrick Henry still was, was playing, bro. Like, he's been sitting at 937. He's been out for, like, three weeks. Like... The gap is crazy. It's crazy. Um, but Jonathan's been doing this thing, man. Looking like, like definitely looking like uh, one of the best running backs in the league. Uh, so, some could argue the best, and uh, I wouldn't be mad at that. I'm gonna say Chubb is the best right now with Derrick Henry being injured. But uh, Chubb splits carries, you know. That's the thing, and uh, that's a big thing. You're not gonna see all of that, uh, you know, all his numbers, like the possible numbers that he could be getting, but. Like, in my opinion, I, I would say Chubb is the best running back right now. But I got all respect for Jonathan Taylor. This is this amazing running back. You got a nice, um, what's the word? Just he, He's just really good all around. I can't think of the word, but it's all good. So, we got Joe Mixon at four, Dalvin Cook, Zeke, Najee Harris. I didn't know Najee was actually doing that good. It's surprising. Lamar Jackson. Okay, Lamar. Jalen Hurts. Whoa. So, Jalen... Jalen's gonna rush for a thousand this year. That's what it looks like. Wow. And Damian Harris. Wow. So we, we're, it's gonna be the first time we have two quarterbacks rush for a thousand yards. I can see it happening. That's what it looks. Like. If Lamar is on pace right now and he's in the top ten, I can see it happening. If Lamar can do it at this point, Jalen can too. So that's gonna be very interesting to see first time. And I think it'll be the third L Lamar's third season in a row rushing for a thousand. That's crazy. All right, we got the receiving leaders, Cooper Cup at one, Debo Samuel at two, Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, Jefferson going up, Tyreek going down, Jamar Chase, Travis Kelsey, Chris Godwin, Keenan Allen, Stephon Diggs. Okay, top 10 looking. Oh, nice. Oh, like really good receivers. Um, Jamar Chase is crazy, man. Got the rookie going up, man. He, I think I think he has like one of the highest uh yards per catch average, too, last time I checked. So that's pretty good. Uh, Cooper Cup, 11, 1100 yards and 10 touchdowns. So he's killing it with the uh, in the red zone right now. But uh, man, Debo, Debo was crazy. Debo would be up there even higher, but uh, he's been doing a lot in the run game and up in the past two games. He's been getting a lot of carries at running back, which is kind of crazy. But I like it. I like it a lot. All right, we got the defensive. Stat leaders, uh, we got sacks, got Miles Garrett, TJ White, Hassan Reddick, Matt Judon, 
Harold Landry, Nick Bosa, Marcus Golden, Robert Quinn, Trey Hendrickson, and the rookie Michael Parsons, who's supposed to be a middle linebacker, which is crazy, bro. The fact that this dude pass rush ability is so great, like athleticism is amazing. Like he, he, it's it's probably uh, one of the best defensive players, like potentially right now, one of the best defensive players in football. Honestly, bro, as a rookie, it, the way he's been playing. You can literally line this dude up all over the defense and he he will make plays um he's not limited at all like his athleticism just is, is crazy it's not it's not even just athleticism it's talent it's talent too bro um i mean he got it he got it uh we have interceptions so we got trevon diggs with eight jc jackson with six Man, this dude JC is in for a big contract. I, if I'm not mistaken, he, he he needs to be resigned this year, right? Uh, Kevin Byard at three. Logan Wilson, Jordan Poirier, Adrian Phillips, Xavier McKinney, Justin Simmons, and Amani Owari tied, and then Darius Slay. All right, as far as tackles, we got Bobby Wagner leading in tackles, which is crazy, bro. Still doing it as a vet, man. Um. I, I I did not know. I think last time I checked tackles, he was up there like top five or top three or something like that. But hey, good to see him up there, man. He's still doing this. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, Denzel Perriman at two, Roquan Smith three, Foye Olawokan, Olawokan, Olawokan. Y'all let me know how to pronounce that, please. Um, three. So he tied. Okay. Um. Roquan got eight TFLs, okay. Kenny Young, Eric Kendricks, Jordan Brooks, Devondre Campbell, Bobby Okariki, and Deion Jones. Surprise, Bobby is up there so high. Normally, it'd be uh, Darius Leonard, you know what I mean, uh, for the for the Colts. But uh, Jordan Brooks, isn't he with the uh, Seahawks? So they got two people in the top ten in tackles. That's pretty wild. Uh, okay. Well. That's it for defensive stats. All right, y'all. We got the week 12 schedule. Thanksgiving Day games. Uh, Chicago Bears versus the Detroit Lions. I would give this one to the Bears. Um, Lions, I mean, they're somewhat competitive. Obviously, they're not one of the best teams in the league. But, uh, hey, you know, somewhat competitive here and there. Uh, like I said, I'll, I'll pick the Bears in this one. Raiders versus Cowboys. I would pick the... Mm, I picked the Cowboys. Yeah, Cowboys. Uh, I think that'll be an interesting game. Raiders got to figure something out soon, man. Definitely got to figure something out. Um, the Bills versus Saints. I give this one to the Bills. Uh, I'm sure we, get, we can expect some upsets, but I give this one to the Bills. Uh, Buccaneers versus Colts. We got the Bucks. Texans versus the Jets. I'll pick the Texans. I, I feel like that's the safe pick. I hope so. Eagles versus Giants. I'll pick the Eagles in this one. Been uh, much more consistent, I'll say. Panthers versus Dolphins. Panthers. Should be a good game, though. Um, should be competitive. Uh, I think the Dolphins will give them a fight. Titans versus Patriots. I'll pick the Patriots in this one. Um, don't really got to worry about Derrick Henry too much, obviously. Uh, Deontay Foreman will be the one back, so we'll see how that plays out. But uh, Patriots have been nice overall uh, as of late, so I think this will be an interesting matchup. Bengals versus Steelers. I'll pick the uh, – I'll pick the Steelers. I'll give them the, the, the bounce back win. I won't see him losing two in a row. Uh, we got the Falcons versus Jaguars. Falcons, Falcons, but that that should be an interesting game. Two two of the you know bottom teams you know in the league you know lower echelon teams, lower tier. But uh, I say Falcons in this one. Uh, Chargers versus Broncos. I don't know why I struggle saying that. I'll pick the. It's actually a good game. Um, I'll pick the Chargers. I say I give them two in a two in a row. Uh, Rams versus the Packers. I give this one to the Packers. 
give them a bounce back win. It's interesting though because the Rams are coming off a bye. Uh, that's actually tough. That's that's tough. Uh, I feel like kind of leaning towards the Rams, honestly. I, I'm gonna stick with the Packers for now. I stick with that. Uh, Vikings versus 49ers. Give it to the. Let's give it to the Vikings. Two in a row. Two in a row. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see about that. Vikings two in a row. Uh, Sunday night football. We have Browns versus Ravens. Ravens, of course. Monday night football. Washington versus Seattle. Seattle. Uh, and bye week. Yeah. I don't know why I read that. Okay. Well, that's it, man. Uh, week 12 schedule and uh, recap and checking stats. So, yeah, I hit the link in the description. Follow me on Twitch. We'll be going live. Might be going live later today. No promises. Happy Thanksgiving to all. Hit the like button for me. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.